In today's episode of Learning Baseball, we're going to do an inning breakdown where a team manufactures a run with only one hit. We're going to also cover a sacrifice bunt, a walk, fielder's choice, base running, and pitch framing. It's the bottom of the third inning, and the A's are up to bat down 2-0. The first pitch of the at-bat is low for ball one. Second pitch is high for ball two. Now the third pitch gets called a strike, and you'll see here the catcher framing the pitch. That means they will catch the ball and quickly move it into the strike zone to try to help their pitcher get the call from the umpire. The count is full, three balls, two strikes, and the next pitch is inside for ball four. The next batter comes to the plate, runner on first, and takes the first pitch for a ball down low. On the next pitch, the batter hits a single into right field, and the runner on first moves from first to second. So now there are runners on first and second with no out. This is a great spot to be in if you're the Oakland A's. Runners on first and second and no outs with your best hitter, your cleanup hitter, at bat. Now after a couple pitches go by, you're going to see the A's do something that you don't typically do with your number four hitter, your cleanup hitter. They're going to sacrifice bunt to move the runners over to the next base. So the hitter is going to intentionally get out by bunting the ball towards first base so that the runners on first and second can move from first and second to second and third and put their team in a better chance to score. So now the A's have runners on second and third with one out, which means any hit or even contact to the right part of the field can bring in a run from third base. Here you will see the catcher communicating with the pitcher as to what pitch the catcher wants the pitcher to throw. It's basically like a secret code that allows the catcher and pitcher to communicate without the other team knowing which pitch is coming. On this pitch, the hitter will hit the ball to the shortstop and the runner from third will score. The batter will be credited with an RBI, a run batted in, which basically means if you hit the ball and a run comes in, you get a run batted in. This is what's called a fielder's choice. The fielder, the shortstop in this case, had a choice. Either throw it home or try to throw it to first base to get the out. They chose to throw it to first base to get the out. Therefore, it is a fielder's choice. This is great base running by the runner on third base. As soon as the ball was hit and hit to the shortstop on the ground, the runner took off running towards home plate knowing that the shortstop wouldn't be able to get them at home plate. This is a great play by the shortstop as well. Shortstop fields the ball, looks to home plate to see if they can get the lead runner and prevent a run from scoring, realizes they can't, and makes a nice, easy throw to first base to get it out. 